Do you have a munch bot or anything like that? I'd love to do that for you, Griffin. Uh, Griff, do you have a Yahoo? Uh, well, now hold on. <laughs> this seems... Griffin just asked. The... <laughs> it's not. Yeah, this is the worst <laughs> trap. <laughs> It's like if, if 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 Charlie Brown said to Lucy, "Hey, do you want to play the pull? The, are you going to pull the football away?" She was like, "Yeah, I'm going to pull the football away." Do you want to? Do you want to come football? kick this football? All right, never mind. I'll do a Yahoo. This Yahoo. <laughs> 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 All right, coward. <laughs> Go on. No, I want a munch. Squad. Squad. Dun, dun, I want to munch. Squad. squad. Justin ahead. has a munch squad to do. Okay, that went in a sort That's of southern fine. rock direction. <laughs> hey, Dave, I love that with. fucking Molly Hatch up yeah. in here. Hey, um, this is a retro uh, munch squad as <laughs> brands continue to, uh, for some cowardly reason, uh, continue to not announce new products. Um, I don't. <laughs> the one exception is I do have to point out in the last literally two weeks, the one exception is uh, June eighth today. Checkers and rallies like like opened the door a crack to the room of people and said, um, "Hey, we're introducing a mother cruncher chicken." <laughs> Sorry, okay, I just like. Hey, that's it. It's, I, it, it, I, it's stupid. Never mind. It's, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. Never mind. mind. <laughs> it's stupid. It's just it's just an indulgent, <laughs> craveable menu item, and we. Uh, no, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so, sorry. It's, it's stupid. There's, it's more, stupid. there's well, obviously more important stuff. That, just, just, just fucking forget about. It. We'll put. We'll take it out. <laughs> yeah, it. We just our fry. We. I, we got to, our fries have been consistently <laughs> deemed the most craveable boy in the media. But it's just stupid. It's stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm sorry. We did checkerize the menu item, though. Give it the TLC needed for the perfect crunch and ideal toppings and signature squawk sauce. <laughs> but the Mother Cruncher is stupid. I feel stupid even calling it the Mother Cruncher. It's like dumb. I'm going to leave. It's got onion rings on it. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to leave. Red, ripe tomato pickles. Um, No, but okay. So this one is... Uh, uh, I enjoyed very much, but it does require a little bit of setup because it is... From uh Canada, oh uh, Ryan Ryan sent us uh our uh, this way um and Booster Juice is like a juice chain. Wow, do you under okay? So I'm set telling you that now. It's like where you can go in and buy juice or a smoothie or whatever. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Because the rest of this is so confusing that I need you to have a point. This is your constant, okay? That Booster Juice is a chain that sells juice. Do you understand this constant? Yes. Yeah, I'm, ty I'm, okay. I'm tying my belt onto that pipe, like at the end Tie of Twister. Tie your belt on that pipe. Dale Wishawan, president and CEO of Booster Juice, announced the launch of Booster Juice Game Studios uh -huh. at the Fit and Fun Zone grand opening in Toronto. He confirmed the newly formed game studio will feature several new and highly anticipated games. Consist now, how are they highly anticipated at before he announces them? No one knows. They're consisting of mind challenges, 2D retro games, and an interactive Microsoft Kinetic, not anything, body motion detection games developed by bat.ca game studio. These tiles be made available exclusively at the Toronto Pearson International Airport in the Booster Juice Fit and Fun Zone. Oh, wow. Fuck yeah, dude. I love mind puzzles. I love <laughs> So you're telling you're telling me I can go get some like powerful fruit juices and also have a kinetic body experience while I solve a mind and puzzle. You have to be in the airport. Yeah, the airport. I don't know if you got that. I, too. I, buy me a ticket to anywhere, baby. I gotta get to this fucking booster juice. Hey, Jimmy, and, where do you want to have your birthday party this year? Oh, at the booster juice in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> booster juice in the airport. The grand opening event launched a new store concept for booster juice who transformed a passenger waiting area into a vibrant and interactive destination for commuters. The fit and fun zone was designed to embrace the booster juice lifestyle, offering nutritious and delicious smoothies, freshly squeezed juices, grilled food, grab and go items. In addition to dynamic concept that extends beyond the store to feature interactive large format games. <laughs> The games are created to offer travelers the opportunity to stay active while on the go. Well, I do have to go to the airport to wait for a flight, but the good news is that I can play some huge interactive games at the Juice Star. So let me get this straight. You're flying from L.A. to Seattle. Yes, that's correct. And you want to connect in Toronto. 
Yes. Yes. Absolutely. It is Im- Absolutely. It is imperative. You don't understand. I've made it to level three. <laughs> I really think this is. I'm making it to level four on this trip. They've got we a are new truly, mind challenge. You, we are truly, truly excited about the grand opening of our fourth location at the Pearson Airport," said Dale Wishwan. Our team is dedicated to pushing the envelope when it comes to store design. So working with them, uh, working with the GTAA on the concept and Raul Bot on the loose of Booster Juice Game Studios has been fantastic. These games can be enjoyed by individuals of all ages and skill levels. So we hope people enjoy them as much as we do. Do you think that there's like an employee at that Booster Juice that when they came in and they started like setting up these games that they probably have poured a lot of money into Too much money. to yeah. design their Too own games money. and install it. That there was an employee who was like, I have an old N64 that I could bring in if you guys just want. You know that there are like other games. There are games already. I could bring in games. Do you guys want games? A at, fucking- at Toronto Pearson, we strive to provide our passengers with excellent food and dining choices. And this all new interactive booster juice location in Terminal 3 provides a fun and engaging experience for passengers of all ages, said Scott Collier, Vice President of Customer and Terminal Services. We're proud to be the home of the first and only booster juice fit and fun zone in the world. The thing that is so fucking wild to me about this, there is no bit, there is no store at the airport that needs to like broadcast its marketing message more than a 30 foot radius <laughs> around itself, right? Am I gonna go to that booster juice or no, I'll just go get a fucking Coke at the at Burger King because it's actually five steps closer because where I'm at the airport and I don't give a shit. So here's some game descriptions. Cool. The motion game immerses players in an intense and cinematic world, enabling players to use their body for the hyper realistic, dynamic, and interactive envir- environments. Booster Juice Surf places the cool you in board shorts <laughs> writing wait, this is fucking wait, like wait. meme garbage Hold on. nonsense. <laughs> Someone is shit posting in the middle of this press release. Booster Juice Surf places the cool you, that's in quotes, cool you in board shorts riding a branded surfboard in the center of a giant wave. <laughs> po- points accumulate as you avoid dolphins and buoys while trying to keep your wow. balance. Hold on. I'm still back on the me and board shorts, and you yeah. just introduced there's dolphins trying to get me. And, and, and how, do you, how are you putting the board shorts on me? That's not how, like, virtual anything works. Juice Bar Jumper is a 2D running style game and closely resembles the recognizable Booster Juice stores. What the what? fuck? So I'm running inside the st- Wait. Okay, now, it see, says on the I'm rules, still back on the dolphins. It says on the rules on the door of every booster juice that you're not allowed to run in there. So this is setting this, a bad example. This gets so wild, y'all. With incredibly cute illustrations and a suspenseful storyline, a strawberry speedily whisks across the countertops, earning extra points upon collecting yummy blueberries. As time passes, the difficulty increases. <gasps> I fucking heard that. Oh, boy. In another 2D game, that same superstar character, a strawberry with a dashing smile, rides a booster juice cup like a rocket with fruits firing out instead of flames. He flies through the skies, avoiding evil candy, collecting tasty fruit, and racking up the points. Cool. I'm not making this next part up. Okay. The third game unravels a darker, more riveting plot involving the destiny of the strawberry. Get the fuck out. (laughs) This is a uniquely styled, intense game with challenges above and below. Above and below me? Below, like, Fucking in heaven and hell, hell, I yes. guess it means. <laughs> with challenges above and below, where the player has to double tap to slip in beside in between terrifying blenders. In these vibrantly drawn worlds, players must use a variety of skills to survive and gain points. Oh, Jesus. This reads like the person writing it was being told about the existence of video games via telegraph through time travel. Like they were just getting bleeps and bloops of a portal opening and closing. Additional games were also designed to challenge your mind. Uh These puzzles are formulated to make you think as you match fruit and test your reflexes. Certainly, the gameplay experience is enhanced while sipping one of Booster Juice's delicious smoothies. I like how that certainly is like an afterthought. Like, oh, and 
Yeah, we, uh, you should get the juice too. And the juice helps. Um, um, I got to get these games. I know E3 I, is fucking canceled this year, and that's the right call. But I've been hurting for games, so I I do need I, to get up to the Toronto airport. Yeah. So anyway, Wait, when is, is this that, article that, from? 2016. It may it's still probably be there. still there. I hope it's still there. Um, can I do another Yahoo? 